This video was made possible by Skillshare. The first 500 people to sign up using the link in the description can learn new skills for free for two months. So here's the odd question. What's the biggest possible explosion that humanity could create using our current technology? Let's assume that for whatever reason, every country in the world decided to work together and contribute all of their resources to producing this enormous explosion. If that's the case, then what really is the biggest explosion possible? For a little context of what's about to come, it's important to realize the scale of the largest explosions humanity has created so far. The biggest of these explosions ever, before the invention of nuclear bombs, was the Halifax Explosion, an accident that occurred when a French munitions ship collided with another ship that caused it to explode in the harbor of Halifax, Canada. The resulting explosion was equal to 2.9 kilotons of TNT, which obliterated everything within an 800-meter radius of the blast and shatter nearly every window in the city. But humans have created an even larger non-nuclear explosion since then when the United States conducted a test called Minor Scale back in 1985. It was an experiment intended to simulate a nuclear bomb using only conventional explosives, and it achieved an explosion of 4.2 kilotons of TNT. Placed over New York City, the destructive power of such a device appears more obvious. But the advent of nuclear weapons changed everything forever. I already made a video detailing the enormous destructive power of individual nuclear weapons and ended that video by talking about the Tsar Bomba, the largest explosion that humanity has ever created in history so far. To recap just a little, the Tsar Bomba was detonated by the Soviet Union and produced an explosion equal to 50 megatons of TNT. If it was detonated in the center of Manhattan, then the following explosion would obliterate everything in a 58 kilometer radius. We generally think of this explosion when we think of the largest possible explosion. But that's not really the case, unfortunately. While this explosion is already gargantuan, the original design for the Tsar Bomba called for a 100 megaton explosion, or a blast twice as powerful as the one that actually blew up. Such an explosion would wipe out nearly everything from New York to Bridgeport in Connecticut. But it's certainly possible to create an even more terrifyingly huge explosion if the entire world decided to help out towards creating it. There exists today around 15,000 nuclear weapons that are owned by nine different countries around the world. If all nine of these countries agreed to bring all of their nuclear weapons to the same place, say downtown Manhattan, and blew them all up at the same time, then the resulting explosion would be a whopping 1.46 gigatons or 1,460 megatons, equal to the power of 29 Tsar Bombas. Everything within 230 kilometers of the blast would be largely destroyed. And to put this into even more perspective, the infamous Krakatoa eruption in 1883 exploded with a force of only 200 megatons, and that reduced worldwide temperatures by 1.2 degrees Celsius for five years. Every nuclear weapon in the world exploding at once would be over seven times more powerful than that eruption was. But we could still create something a lot bigger. In 1986, there existed roughly 70,000 nuclear weapons in the world compared to only 15,000 that exist globally today. If humanity rebuilt our global stockpile to that number and detonated all of them at once in New York, then the explosion would generate a force of 4.769 gigatons and obliterate almost everything within 376 kilometers. The entire east coast of the United States would be destroyed, including the cities of Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington DC, and Boston. But in theory, we could actually create something even more wildly powerful than this. This man, named Edward Teller, is credited with the invention of the hydrogen bomb, but he also theorized that the maximum possible bomb explosion that humanity could create using the same technology would be approximately 10 gigatons. This single hypothetical bomb would be nearly seven times as powerful as all 15,000 currently existing nuclear weapons combined. Such a ridiculous explosion would be capable of destroying the entire country of France almost instantaneously, or all of Great Britain and Ireland. 
The bomb was nicknamed the Backyard Bomb because of the fact that you could detonate it anywhere on the Earth and it would still be capable of harming your enemy by dumping massive fallout radiation across the entire planet. Such a device is likely the largest possible explosion that humans could create with our modern technology. Although in the future, it may become possible to create more exotic devices like an antimatter bomb. One single gram of antimatter could produce an explosion equal to 43 kilotons. But considering that the current cost of producing even one millionth of a gram of this stuff is 60 billion dollars, that won't be possible anytime soon. If you can somehow come up with the 60 quadrillion dollars required to create one gram of antimatter, then let me know in the comments. Many of you frequently ask me in the comments what software I use to animate these videos with and how I learned to do it. In this video, I used a mixture of Adobe After Effects, Audition, Illustrator, and Premiere Pro. I taught myself how to use all of them by watching videos online. You can teach yourself just about anything online today, and Skillshare is the perfect place to do it. They have professional and very easy to understand classes that you can watch from anywhere even while you're offline. Skillshare is an online learning community that's built for creators by other creators. They have over 15,000 classes in animation, graphic design, video game design, photography, web development, music, and plenty more. You can take classes or even teach classes yourself, and premium membership begins at about $10 per month for unlimited access to all of their courses. But the first 500 people to sign up using this link in the description of the video will get a two-month long free trial. In the next two months, you could easily learn the new skills that you need to start up a new business or hobby, just like I did when I created Real Life Lore just over a year ago. Ask yourself what goals or ambitions have you been putting off working towards lately, but you aren't quite sure that you have the needed skills to do it. Why shouldn't you start right now, now that this video is over, by signing up for free with Skillshare using the link below? You have absolutely nothing to lose, but you have a valuable life skill to gain. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, then I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel by clicking here to stay updated for future videos. Thank you very much to my Patreon supporters, and if you'd like to help contribute directly to the channel, you can click here. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again next Friday for another brand new video then.